Tracy, baby, you called? Yeah, look, Dad, we're worried. I'm worried, too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You need help, like serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're going to be killed. Tracy, I love you. But you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy. That's all I could do. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston, did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring and might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. 
but no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy quick. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach him on the lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there. And Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts. So if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. Uh, I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. What you doing here? You got to go. Sight's closed back.
Can I get you anything? Some X? You got any kale chips? Nah, we don't got that. You want Molly? Molly? No, no, it's McElroy. Milton McElroy? I find me. Seriously. Day trip's over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. You get lost, Wrinkle? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> ah! We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay, sure, man, sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. I don't know who you think you are. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talon, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talon? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Just jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. Look. Please. Can I just say I was just in this for the promise of strong drugs? I don't want a new deal. So much has to be off the show in time. I know Solomon is anxious to see you. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in the week? How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fail a piss test at any point on this shoot? Wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy, you're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip, I love ya. So Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir, and I... I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Well, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? 
This chute seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. What's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 oh. you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey. You two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Seven millimeters. Who the fuck hey, how about seven? we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mouth. Ooh, the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. <laughs> All right.
Hey, we coming up now, man. Be there in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. They get a shot with us back here. We gotta get right up behind them. Suspect has entered the Braddock Tunnel. Officer T maintains his pursuit. Our patience will be rewarded. Stay with them. Officer down! Where's my partner? I'll be there in a second. Good things come to those who wait. How you doing, team? We gotta hang in there. We're driving into Polito Bay. Traffic might slow them down. Let's do this! Let's get them! How far are they taking us? I can swear we've circled half the state. Frank's still on them. The dickheads probably want them to stop and take the heat. As long as we can keep with them, we'll pull this off. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely uh, necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! Hey, you that lady? The intense dude's assistant, right? Assistant? This is Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel for Devin Weston Holdings. I need to tell Devin we got some calls. Mr. Weston will not discuss matters like this with you on the phone. I'll be your port of call for business concerns. Well, shit, me and your boss ain't gonna have any personal concerns. Bring the cars to Hayes Auto on Little Big in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey man, you know how hard it was. Slow enough to stay with these fools. Let's have a real race. So, Devin. <laughs> lawyer says we gotta take them to Hayes Auto. It's in South LA. I'm gonna be there well ahead of you. Asshole. 
I ain't waiting around, man. Let's go, but uh, don't mess up the cars, you hear me? Hey, you dudes are in the stolen ride. You ain't got no excuse for being way back then. Boosting rise and race. It feels like it. Come full circle to me. Come on. Nah, oh, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, I be right back where I be at. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the Fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion, a work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, right, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life! It's just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Man, when am I gonna get a paycheck for one of these licks?
Ever heard of Jackson Skinner? He's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill. Shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie. I'll be in touch. That must be my girl. Hi there. Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. No browsing. It's bye now or bye bye, honey. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. About. Hey man, I'll wipe that software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon. So who the fuck don't you like today? 
Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking you could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got it. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any Vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. Hey, sorry I'm late. It's my first day on the job. I hope the traffic isn't too bad. Yesterday took me three hours for half a mile. Hey, look out! We got no seatbelts back here! Holy shit! Let's go down to the range later and fire off the two miles. Jesus, have you been drinking? Damn, would it kill you people to crack a smile? You're late, late, late. That'd be 150. Mr. Penny, ain't it? Bear hike. Forget about it. Spend thrifts. Hey! Blame it on the city. Just business shit. You know how it is. Good to go.
homie. All right. You know how to work that face recognition shit already? Well, figure it out. Okay. Okay, I see the chopper. 
Zilch. You only made ten of these. Think, think anyone's gonna take it up? 
Delivering a ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? Or just a the dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars? Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dog. Hey, I'm supposed to be Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. Beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I just stick to drive, all right? Hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they make? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? I tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those, uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp. And I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. Right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, low jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh, man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. If they are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation, you have got to take stop it, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go! was a soft landing! Absolutely.
What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work. This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, with you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, this is my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The He's truth. A... Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, but some people, <laughs> they no longer fear me as much as they used to, people who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in Michael. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier. He's flying off for Liberty City this afternoon. He's taking some files of mine. Those innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I had a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down, and get the files back. A man, what's up, hey? Uh-huh. Trevor. Come on. Come on. Just the one in the... Not now! 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 See the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down, and I'll be. T. -t if you could see this gun, I might convince you my team would. Right, so ain't someone, someone to be messing with. Good enough. That'll go, go down, down next time. time. Give, give me a second. second. Ah, shit, shit. There, there it is. I'll pass I'll downtown. Pass. Gotta, Gotta shoot in the front and compensate for the speed of the jet. jet. Didn't do it. I got her. Southwest of the city. Get the movement. Got to get the lead.
November 9th, Charlie Echo, fly at 240. Say your souls on board. The pilot's fighting it, but he's going down. Good. Stay on him. We need the files. Flight November 9th, Charlie Echo, say your souls on board. Two souls on board. Engine two, totally lost. All hydraulics lost. All hydraulic systems are gone. Roger, November 9th, Charlie Echo, where are you putting it down? We're not gonna make the runway. We're gonna have to ditch this son of a bitch and hope for the best. How you doing out there? Still got him? I'm on him! He's past the airfield! Landing ain't gonna be pretty! Where are you putting it down? Can you make the Alamo Sea airfield? Can't pull it around! Have to put it down in the field somewhere. Madrezo and explain the human cost of this errand. No, oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. What? There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works, a little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ah, I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. The fuck has 
just happened? Why did he have his car? Man, that piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What happened? Cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Turn don't. On. Answer a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out, you know. It's a, a very relaxing little spot, a little getaway, if you will, a cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. Chop! All that shit? Chop, what you been eating? I gotta get a regimen for your ass. Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the print... I don't know how 
many times I have to tell you I'm allergic? Do you understand? Do you understand? Now listen to me. Just get the fuck out of here. I'm sick of looking at your face, Tina. Oh, we need you on Where set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus! Are you gonna find him? Please, Someone's gonna find him! Move. What is the point of building all these sets? <laughs> we gotta put Brandon's head on the guy's body in post! but he can change his route and meet you there. Yeah, okay. Because I got the car and it was messy. That's fine with us, but your associate, Michael DeSanta, has done some work at this... <laughs> You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorten them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Ooh, shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit. But you're the brains, am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get down like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. <laughs> 